hi what's up there people just wanted to give you a video guide here on how to farm some demon titanite and the first thing that you're going to want to make this as easy as possible is this bow the dragon slayer great bow uh, I've got it at plus plus five so it deals maximum damage but to be honest when you first get it it deals quite a quite a fair bit of damage so um, before I show you the specific point of where to farm the demon tied tonight I'm just gonna quickly show show you where to get this bow from so you want to go to your bonfire, you want to walk to the chamber of the princess which is uh, in Anor Londo and it's uh, just above where you fought Ornstein and Smo. take the elevator on down Okay, so this is the area where you fought Ornstein and Smo. What you want to do is, once you're out of this room, you want to take a right and head up the stairs. There's an archer here. The Archers of Anor Londo. The infamous Archers of Anor Londo. So take him out, carry on up the stairs so you're at the very top and what you're going to notice is um, one of the windows is missing on this back layer of windows. So what you're going to do is drop out and follow the ledge round. and then roll into this area here okay so where we are now this is the area where the great bow is located it's quite a beast of a bow as well check it out just show it here as you can see that's not going to be tickling anyone. That's going to be doing maximum damage. Anyway, so drop on out of here. Kill these gargoyles, unless they kill themselves like that. Okay, so let's take this guy out. Okay, so up these stairs is the merchant that sells the arrows for that bow, and you're definitely going to want a few. They're not cheap, they're 500 souls each, but you can always buy these from this guy. Like the Demon Titanite, you cannot buy, so, you know, it's worth it. So I'm just going to speed this up, just head on back to the bonfire where you just came from back up the elevator okay so this time we're going to walk to the daughter of chaos this is a secret area of the game and at the end of the video I'm going to explain that we're going to what we're going to need to do with um, this particular this particular covenant who's which, which is located by this bonfire but in the meantime let's carry on I'll take the elevator down okay this elevator is only going to work if you've um, been working through the demon ruins and lost Edith and you've activated the um, elevator from down where we are now anyway from that elevator drop on down I'm just going to take you back to a uh, 
a bonfire which is a, a safe spawn point which we can um, begin each run for uh, farming the uh, demon titanite because the thing is with demon titanite is the titanite demons once you killed them uh, they don't usually respawn but this particular one does and not only that it drops two demon titanite every time you kill it so pretty handy and it's quite a cheesy way of taking him down but the thing is every time you take down a demon titanite I mean sorry a titanite demon uh, they get harder so the next time you face one it'll be harder and so on throughout the game so I think even though this method I'm about to show you is cheesy um, it's better than getting your ass kicked and getting nowhere so anyway take a right through here head on down this branch now before when I said there was uh, the, co the covenant near the bonfire was relevant uh, it's because you need to give uh, the leader of the covenant 30 humanity because there is a brick wall where we're about to run through and that will be closed and will not open unless you have given the princess or the queen or whoever she is uh, 30 humanity so you want to have done that before before doing this but anyway this is where about where we're about to begin our cheesy strat of killing this titanite demon from a good distance away but the arrows are so strong that it's gonna make pretty fast work of him So just stand at a good, a good distance. Sometimes he doesn't even come towards you. Sometimes he just like doesn't even move, and you can just stand here and just shoot him. But a word of warning is he isn't as stupid as he looks. He looks like a, a weary old man with a walking stick, but as soon as he gets close enough, he will jump on you and kick your ass basically so be wary of that starts getting too close then you get back here behind this corner and it'll start firing off his electricity and then you can just take pot shots at him and then try and avoid his shots back a couple more there you got him come on no that's gone in the wall so is that Oh, he's gonna get me. Ah, oh, boy, I got him. Okay, so that's how you do it, basically. So let's go and check out what he's dropped. And he's dropped his weapon and the all-important two two um. Titanite shards. Demon Titanite shards, should I say. So you're going to want some homeward bones as well. So you can get back here. Uh, just going to speed this up again. It's just the same thing again, but just to show you that he reappears. And just take him down.
See, this time he's just standing there, he's not turning around, like I said. It does take a couple of minutes, but it's well worth it. And you get 5,000 souls anyway for each time you take it down, so it kind of pays for itself with those um, expensive great bow arrows that you get in that old Londo. See, two more Demon Titanite. Excellent stuff. There we go, so I've got quite a few now. I've got 22. That should see me through. Can uh, upgrade a couple of weapons. Okay, so what's next? So that's just rinse and repeat what you're doing there. Do that as many times as you like. Uh, what we want to do, what I touched on earlier about um, giving 30 humanity to the... Oh, I've gone to the wrong place, sorry. I uh, want to actually warp to the Daughter of Chaos. I'm just going to show you if you haven't actually unlocked this area how to unlock it and what it's all about basically and what you need to do. So I'm just going to kind of double back on myself. This is the uh, queen or the princess or <laughs> whatever whatever you want to call it. And you want to be in her covenant to open that door where that shortcut was just before uh, we faced the titan eye demon. But I already had the door down, so I was with a different covenant while we were doing this video. But just to show you where this place is, I'm just going to double back on myself to uh, where we f where we fought uh, Quelag, the uh, Arachnid. Okay, so just to give you a sense of perspective of where we are. Okay, so this is where we fought Quelag, and over the other side of the room is Blight Town. And then, if you just beat in Quelag, you can come through here and you can ring that ring the bell there. And head on down the stairs. And then normally that lift wouldn't work until you've activated it down in the demon ruins and you would uh, normally head this way down into the demon ruins yep head out here near the bonfire but instead of running down this way There's basically to the right of the, uh, or to the left now, there's usually a secret wall here, and you just smash it with the sword, and then boom, you're in here. And there's a bonfire, you can enter the covenant here, that'll earn a trophy for you, but most importantly, you have to give her 30 humanity and be in her covenant for that door to work and to get to that titan eye demon from the direction that you saw us take okay and that's it thanks for watching i know it was a lot to take in but enjoy the game